to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayana for you guys who are new here. I'm a candle maker and I started a candle business last year by the name of So Yaya. So for you guys who are new, what I like to do on this channel is just teach you guys tips and tricks and things that I did to become a candle maker. I still hope that you guys are doing your own research, but hopefully some of my tips will lead you into the direction that you need to go so that you can have a successful candle business of your own. And so if you can tell by the title, I'll be showing you guys all of my candle supplies, literally from top to bottom where I get everything from. Also too guys, oh my God, I wanted to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. We are growing so fast on this channel. Like it's freaking crazy. Like every time I look at the numbers and I know they say don't get fixated on the numbers or don't watch your numbers, but y'all, I cannot help it. I'm just super, super grateful to all of you. I thank you so much for supporting me. If you like a video, if you comment, if you share it with somebody, y'all, it like, <sighs> It means so much to me. Without further ado, guys, we're just gonna get right into it and no particular order. So I'm gonna try to go in order to make it like so that it makes sense. But if I don't go in order, please forgive me. The first thing up is going to be wigs. I get um majority of my wigs. It's really hard for me to tell you guys exactly where I get everything from. I use so many different vendors. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, why do you use so many vendors? Why do you don't just shop at one? And the reason being for that, if I'm literally exhausting all of my avenues with one vendor and they are out of something, I'm now out of luck because I just put all of my eggs in one basket, hoping that this one vendor will just luck up and have everything in. I can tell you nine times out of 10 in the candle making world, that literally never happens. So I like to make sure that I am spreading my sources far and wide because with the shortages that are going on right now, it's very hard to get supplies. And so I have to shop around constantly. Then you constantly have to test things out. The most reputable one that I use right now with my new jars is the 1617 company. And these are the CDN wig. Also have some from Candle Science. I have some from Pro Candle Supply. I also will use Hive and Honey. Um, there's just a couple of different ones that I use. So again, guys, don't put all of your eggs in one basket thinking that you just have to shop with one specific brand or company to get everything that you need because listen, you, you, you have some great faith if you do that, but I just don't, I can't hurt my business that way. So, um, but my favorite ones to get are from 1617 and Hive and Honey. I've noticed that most consistent with being the same. Um, you'll notice sometimes too, you can be getting one product from one company and then the same product from another company and they totally perform on different levels. So definitely be careful and make sure you're always testing your candles regardless. I don't care if they are wicks that you use all the time, making sure you're always testing your candles. So the next thing that I have here is going to be these wick holders. All of my wick holders, you know, they actually still have wax on them because I just made candles, but and I just pulled them off. But um, make sure you're cleaning these. Actually, they're okay, but they just don't work as well for me with the glass jars. I used to have cemented jars, so uh, they worked a little bit better. But with these, they like slide around a lot with these glass jars. So I am looking into getting some better ones or possibly just longer. But these came from Amazon, guys. Um, so these are just wick holders, Amazon. If you click in Amazon, you'll see that they have a plethora of different wick holders for you to choose from. Next thing is going to be, I have like 10 of these. These are just like my fragrance oil um, glasses. I like to use glass jars because you will notice that if you are using plastic, plastic is not um, terrible to use, but you're, you're gonna notice that you have to work really, really fast because the fragrance oil will start to seep through the plastic. So I just went ahead and got glass so I don't have to worry about that because Sometimes I will pour my fragrance um, ahead of time if I'm making like six different uh, candle fragrances at one time. So I have these just sitting for a while until I get to it. Um, so I don't have to worry about it seeping out or having to hurry up and use it just fast. And I also got this from the Dollar Tree. So 
easy peasy. I think that I'm going to be showing you guys. These are my pouring pitchers. I've had these pouring pitchers since I started out in the beginning. I haven't had to change them out. You can see they have wax all on them because I do need to clean them because they are dirty. These came from Wooden Wick and I love these so much. Um, if you are adding color or dyes or anything to your candles, you might want to get the silver ones because you're not going to be able to see the coloring once you mix it in these but i don't add any color to my things yet and when i do add color i don't i'm just playing around with it someone commented and they noticed that i use these and she asked if i get any black specks or anything in my candles from using these and i do not you see this video comment down below where you get yours from also too it just could be wear and tear that they're starting to wear down a little bit also too if you do the double boiler method a lot i don't anymore i use the presto pot so i'm not having to actually put this in boiling water boiling water will wear it down a lot quicker than the presto pot method so so that could be another reason why you're getting little black specks in your candles. And these are my wick stampers for the wicks to keep them in place when they're burning. Nothing spectacular. Um, I get these from Virginia Candle Supply. Next up, we have a stirring utensil. This is just my little wooden spoon that I got from Walmart. A dollar or so but you can get these from the dollar tree my dollar tree didn't have them so i had to get it from walmart because i really wanted it at the time but yeah this is just what i use to stir nothing spectacular in here i have you guys see this all the time this is just my thermometer I got this from amazon i believe either amazon or walmart i can't remember because it's been with me since the beginning of time but Everything's gonna be linked down below. If not the product, something similar to it. Um, I also don't recommend you guys using this because get up close to actually see what the numbers are. So I wouldn't suggest using this, just get a digital one. I have a digital one now that I got from Amazon, but I still use this one because Hey, why not? I'm used to it. So you guys see this all the time too as well. It's actually a soap cutter and this is what I use to cut all of my wax. Like I used to just use a regular knife out of the kitchen and I'm like, oh my God, why didn't you get one of these sooner? I don't know y'all because I tell you all the time, like if it works, continue to use it. But this is something that I use to kind of spoil myself and I love it so much. I mean, I just cut wax for the fun of it now so that I can have, so I can use this because I love it that much but and this came from Amazon next up guys we have my presto pod I actually got this from Etsy this was a gift from my mom when I first started out I was doing the double bullet method and I told her I was like I'm making way too many candles to continue with this method I have to upgrade she was like I want to get it for you so she got it for me as a gift I'm actually gonna be ordering a bigger one soon I think this is like a 30 pounder I need a 50 pounder and if you really have like a handy partner or if you're handy or something like that or you're good at YouTubing things all you have to do here's a little secret and if I was handy I would have done this but I knew I probably would have messed it up in some way or fashion or form so I was like whatever but you can just order a presto pot drill a hole buy this little piece here from Lowe's Home Depot or wherever stick it in there cement it and boom there's your presto pot and boom you only spent $30 where else these are in popular demand now, you're gonna spend $100 on this. I think at the time I got it for 90. I don't even think you can get them for 90 anymore. So these are like 100 plus, 130. And with COVID now, like everything is like, y'all know, okay? But yeah, so if you are handy, you know someone who's handy, I would suggest making it, watch a video on YouTube, but this did come from Etsy. Also wanted to add in too, <laughs> while it's fresh on my memory, someone asked me if there was water inside of my presto pot and absolutely not okay water does not come anywhere near my candle and i think i tricked people with my last video it was a time lapse and so the wax was already melted and it was so clear that's what i love about virgin coconut soy it doesn't leave that yellowish tint um i sometimes already have wax inside Sometimes I don't measure how much wax I'm using. If I'm making a bunch at one time and I'm just constantly refilling it, I will have some leftover wax inside. I don't have any problems doing this. I don't know if I would suggest doing this. I don't see anything wrong with doing this. You can do it if you want, but don't say I went out here telling you to leave your extra wax in here, but I make sure it's in here, it's safe, it's always covered until the next time that I need it. 
but no to answer your question there is not any water in here um, but I can see how it did look like that sometimes if you do see any condensation that's building up on your top go ahead and take it off and let your wax breathe but that's when it's on so all right guys and next up we have labels all of my labels if you ever see me making anything I promise you it comes from sheet labels they have literally never done me wrong it wasn't up until recently they've been out of stock of everything and so primarily the reason why i haven't been able to restock is because i'm literally relying on a third-party vendor to have my items that i need for my business in stock and that is something that i've been thinking about really really hard this year is how do I want to go about? I think I'm going to start wholesaling my items so I'm not relying on a different company or someone else to have my products and it's slowing up my business because if I'm not out here selling candles, then I'm not making money. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So if you haven't seen me restock yet and I don't mind telling you guys, I know you're not supposed to like tell your business of like what's going on in your business, but hey, moving forward, I am looking into going straight directly to the source and just wholesaling a lot of my items because I can't continue to be out of stock of this or like be out of stock of wax, be out of stock of wigs, be out of stock of candle vessels. Like it's just it's too much um i don't know if you guys saw but i have a candle burning right here like all the candles are made like i labeled them at the bottom so i'll know which ones they are um but nothing has labels back to this so yeah i get all of my labels every single size every color every time you see a label from my company it does come from sheet label next up this is my packing tape let me go ahead and get um everything that has to do with packing hold on one second all right guys, I am back. And so I went to go get everything that has to do with packing so you guys can kind of get the gist of everything. So first up, when I do ship out any of your orders or any of your candles, I am using these brown boxes here. All of my boxes come from Uline. I have multiple different sizes to um, fit different candle orders because you just never know like i can get an order for one candle i can get an order for two candles i can get an order for eight candles seven six like it's just it's always different so i have to have multiple different size boxes when i did first start out i did get the free boxes the free priority boxes from um usps um once you know i started my business started to grow a little bit and started to make some money i kind of wanted to just have like my own little aesthetic going on here um but there is absolutely nothing wrong with using those free boxes honestly i may go back to those like if i start running out of boxes or whatever i do know some people who get them shipped to their homes remember y'all we're all about saving costs saving money though that's just like not one of the things that i feel like you need to spend money on first out of the gate like if i can save money anywhere it would definitely be utilize the free boxes why not this is also my packing tape i get the packing tape from sticker mule i think every candle maker has this it just adds that cute little piece of aesthetic and as you can see my logo has changed like i think twice since this but it still gets put to use because it still has my name and hey it still works this is what my candles go into these are just little gift boxes here that i got from uline um also where my boxes come from so this is how you would package so there is a candle inside of here i wanted to like show you guys i do take the top off because if i put it in here it gets really mushed together so i did go up a size for this new restock so that i can have the top on as well Oh my God, y'all, that smells so good. This is freaking espresso. I do not drink coffee whatsoever. Cannot stand the taste of it. I've dressed it up. I've tried different coffee shops. I can't get down with coffee. But y'all, this espresso candle, I will burn the heck out of it. It smells amazing. I love it. Oh my God, it just, I love it so much. Okay, all right, so this is just how I would put your candle into the box. And it just fits like that and then i'll just put the top on top and then wrap it up real nice i just got one right here to show you guys like how easy it is to assemble them because i know someone had asked and all you do stick it in like that boom 
you're done. And I believe these are things that you've seen before. If you followed me on this channel from the beginning, then you know this is just my handy dandy scale. This is what I use to measure everything. These are my warning labels. I told you guys before that I don't make my warning labels just yet, but I'm now going to have to. But these were all from Amazon. I thought they were super, super cute, super minimalist, and I love that it was on craft paper. So these came from Amazon. I love these. These are like my little thank you cards. I I hand write all of my cards. There was a period of time getting an influx of orders at one time, so I did stop writing a thank you cards at one time because it was just too much to keep up with, but I am going back to this. I don't care how much time it takes. Um, even if I have to get some pre-printed and still write out the person's name or like personalize it in some way, fashion, or form, I'm gonna go back to that. But these just came from Target. I got a huge pack of them, and then it also came with some stickers and envelopes, and I thought that was just like a really cute touch um, because not a lot of companies will give you a handwritten letter thanking you um, for shopping with them. And I think it adds a really nice personal touch. So all these came from Target. This is what I use to take payments when I'm at pop-up shops or holiday markets or markets, events, wherever. Got this from Target, but you can get them from anywhere. You can even order them online. Um, but it's super user-friendly. You'll notice a lot of people rather use a card than cash and sometimes too um when i have sales going on like it's just hard to like have that exact amount and then i have to have cash on me it just eliminates that little headache right there and so i love to have my square when i am at pop-up events so i definitely wanted to share that with you guys as something as you could possibly invest in all right so next up we have my cricket i wanted to share this with you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking me like how do you make your bag all of those bags are custom made by me guys and I use my Cricut like I use my Cricut for everything I love it love it love it so much it's so handy I mean this Cricut can do whatever you want it to do you just have to have the time and patience to learn how to do it actually a Christmas gift from my mom so I really really appreciate this because it's been a huge asset to my business and I do want to use it a lot more too because just using it for bags is like not enough for me I'm like ah, oh, you need to put that to use a little bit more and a lot of you have been asking me too where I get these pants from and what I use them for so these little pans here I just use as like my cooling down station and also too it's just so much more easier to carry candles this way than to be picking them up one by one once they're done I got all of these from Walmart um they are a little pricey so I would check Amazon to see if they have like maybe a pack for cheaper if you wanted to use these these trays are awesome because you can just move them around like that um, but these came from Walmart. This is what I placed my Presto pot on so that, cause you have to give it some um, levitation so that you're able to pour out of the wax. And honestly, I need one that's a little bit higher, but I got this from Target. It's just a microwave stand. I still have to kind of add some things to it to give it that little bit of height. You can order a taller microwave stand. I know Amazon have a couple, but this was like a super cheap option for me. So Target microwave stand and i know <laughs> what you guys all came to this video for is you wanted to know where i get my jars from and so i'm going to tell you these are all of my new rebranded vessels and all of these vessels literally are my babies y'all um when i went to search for these i searched high and low okay i knew that i wanted something that was minimalist something really cute i love these jars so so much i will never change like i'm not even kidding and i know a lot of people are asking me do i have like problems with like suiting or any black marks or anything like that but like i don't know if you guys can see this but this candle i literally have been burning it for so long but as you can see there's no blackness you can see like how the, the candles like down here so you can see literally that there's no suiting going on because i make sure that i'm trimming my wicks and all that good stuff but no i don't have to worry about any blackness going on now if my customers do no one has said anything to me but if they do reach out to me i'll let them know hey are you trimming your wig and we can pretty much go from there but all of these jars are from candle making supplies dot net you guys have been asking me about these jars oh my goodness y'all have been wanting to know like where do you get your jars where do you get your vessels i love them so much and i promise you guys i was not ignoring you i just wanted to make sure that i was 
first off doing things on the back end so that when you guys go and shop with this company i'm getting an incentive for this because um yeah why not but once i got all of that squared away and worked some things out with the company trust me i have no problem telling you i was going to tell you anyways but it just helps me out a little bit more and it helps out my brand um when i can kind of partner up with uh companies before i'm monetized and able to be sponsored so all right, y'all, so this is their 22 ounce um, vessel here. I only fill it to 20 ounces. Their fill weight is 22 though. This is their 18 ounce jar. I fill it to a 15 ounce. And I also get these wooden lids from there as well. They fit on perfectly. I get wooden lids for the 15 ounce and also for the 20 ounce. Lids are expensive. So that's why these go into the cute little baggies because it's like I have to give it something. Um, but I also give you guys the option to get a lid or not to get a lid. I noticed a lot of times flash jars, customers will be like, yeah, girl, I throw that out. I'm like, you throw it out? That cost me $2. Like, that's what I'm saying in my head. And so, yeah, um, that's a lot for a lid. Um, but I give people the option now. That way I'm only buying just enough. I like for my candles to cure with the lid on because it keeps out dust, it keeps out um, just any extra stuff that's floating around. And for some reason, my candle to me, people say this is not true and that this is a myth, but my candle seems to cure better this way and it's a lot stronger when it has a top on it. I don't know y'all, y'all tell me what you think. A top or anything that's covering kind of can seal in when that scent. Um, I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments below what y'all think about having tops while your candle is curing. But I'm telling you right now, like, ugh, these candles smell so good, y'all. Super, super proud of these. And y'all, I am so excited to get this restock out for you guys. But again, I have to wait on third-party companies to come and stock with their stuff. So... Yeah, that's really what's holding us up. Um, if I could sell you things without a label, I honestly would because that's how much I believe in these new sets of candles. Like, I really went back. Um, I really studied my fragrances. Um, like I tell you guys all the time, like candle making is literally a science. It's chemistry. You have to really mix and blend. This one, I mixed three different fragrance oils together to get the scent. And I am super, super proud of these. Um, I actually gave them to family and friends to try out for me during this period. And they literally called me and they're like, oh my God, what did you do differently? Like, these are good. Like, your old candles, they were good, but these are good. And I just, I, it makes me feel really, really um, proud of myself and that's literally what this is all about for me um how can i continue to evolve i'm not saying that my products weren't good that i would give you guys products that i wouldn't burn myself because i absolutely did there's always room to grow there's always room to be better and that is why we're here that's why i'm here giving you guys all the tips and trades and tricks and things that i did so that you can have your best foot forward while you're trying to start your business so i hope that this video was some of use to you guys i know that you guys I only cared about where these vessels came from let's be honest and if there was something that I didn't mention and that you would like to know just leave your comments down below you know I will get back to you and as always guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye